Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching a video about a nightmare neighbor who steals a woman's husband. This video is going to be filled with drama. A lot of the other neighbors were all friendly, welcoming. But there was one neighbor she was yet to meet, the notorious Rebecca Rowe. Rebecca Rowe? Who is that? They've literally called her notorious. What has Rebecca Rowe done? It says right here, woman called her son babe the neighbor fat, punched her in the jaw and then sabotaged CCTV footage. Oh my God, Rebecca does not seem like a nice woman. The new neighbor said, have you met her yet and I said no and they said you don't want to you want to stay away from her oh my god whenever a neighbor tells you that you know you should better stay away from them I won't lie my neighbors are quite good like sometimes they're a bit noisy but like that's like not that bad I could not imagine being next door to a nightmare neighbor like I would not be able to survive there and I was like oh is she really that bad and they went yeah she's horrendous I mean if she's literally on the news and there's articles about her literally calling neighbors fat she's obviously bad look at this face she just looks evil doesn't she I wonder where that mark came from I bet you she attacked someone it wasn't long before the two met. I was outside talking to the new neighbour and then the next minute, you know, she just happened to pull in over here. Oh my God, Rebecca's pulling up. Is Rebecca going to start scrap? I don't understand people who like start problems for no reason. I feel like everyone knows one of them types of people. I sort of braced myself and was like, oh, okay, because the neighbour's like, oh, she's here. And I went, oh, she went right, I'm off. And I was like, oh, okay. That neighbour literally ran off because Rebecca's pulled up. I've kind of been in a situation like that where like you hear of someone or like you hear a story about them and you're kind of like scared them and whenever you see them in public you're like oh hi you don't know how it's gonna go like you don't know if they're gonna be really sweet or if they're gonna be really rude i remember there was this one girl who i was like literally terrified of because like i heard so many bad stories about her and then whenever i met her like she was absolutely lovely to me so like i was quite shocked so i sort of like took a step back and was like okay right ready honestly you gotta brace yourself like whenever you know in the back of your mind they're not a good person your thoughts just start flying around in your brain it's quite scary and she walked out of her car come out and went, are you moving in? And I said, yeah. She went, well, nice to meet ya. She went, welcome to the flats. Oh, so the woman had an experience like me where like the person was really nice. Do you reckon she's just doing that to seem like a nice woman? Maybe she's gonna start to play games. She's acting like a really sweet person, but like deep down she's evil. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And I was like, she doesn't seem that bad, not really. And then she's gonna start to play up. So actually she's just as bad as what you thought she was, if not worse. And with their daughters a similar age, two moms seem to have a lot in common. Oh, wait, so they they both got daughters the same age. I just realized that in the end, like the woman literally sleeps with her husband or boyfriend. So like she does like mess up in the end. I saw her quite often on a daily basis, especially like in the mornings, taking the children to school and uh, hanging around outside, like sitting outside because the children were outside playing. The Rebecca woman seems like such a normal person. That's actually quite scary, isn't it? Obviously like she was arrested and there was a mugshot of her, but like you wouldn't think of that. Like whenever you see her just like watching the kids, you'd probably think, oh, she's a concerned mum keeping an eye on her kid. But deep down, she's actually a menace and as you do as mums do you start chatting to one another and you start getting to know each other amy was settling in well and her love life was on the up too oh right so we're now gonna hear about her love life and this is what got ruined in the end yet again i don't understand why people cheat she was enjoying a new relationship and her and her new partner felt they had a friend in rebecca eventually we'd gone out for drinks with my partner and a few other friends and other neighbors all together interacting together having laughs and Giggles. Wait, so the neighbours knew that Rebecca was there? Did they not say something? I don't know. I'm getting a bit freaked out. Is Rebecca a nice person? Maybe she targets her people. I mean, obviously she did target her in the end because she wouldn't be doing this video. For six months, Amy felt she had it all. A new boyfriend, great neighbours, and a lovely home. But what happened next would not only affect her relationship, it would ruin her life. Oh, God. Right, so it ruined her life. Yet again, Rebecca, she's up to no good. So me and my boyfriend were taking my daughter to school. Come out. Rebecca's daughter and her mother were coming out of their doorway and they said hi as you do and then Rebecca sort of leant up against the wall just like this and looked at my boyfriend and went I know you oh god oh blimey so it wasn't even Rebecca the daughter was the one who initiated the conversation how would you react like if I were a mother I wouldn't know how to react I mean that's really shady of her boyfriend to be messing around with the neighbor I couldn't imagine this happening he looked shocked and she went from a dating site you've been talking to my mum oh 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 my god so he was on the dating site yet again why would you go on a dating site and put a photo of your public face online i don't understand like these cheaters are genuinely dumb they genuinely think they're gonna get away with it i mean people are always in dating sites like imagine like her mom sees you her best friend sees you i mean in the end rebecca finds you in a single second amy's relationship was hanging in the balance i was gobsmacked and was like i looked at him and his face was white 
eyelids. This one's really weird, but can we admire her eyes and eyelashes? I mean, look at them eyelashes. They are amazing. She's got beautiful eyes as well. She seems like such a lovely woman as well. Like, why would you ever want to break her heart? I knew it was true instantly as soon as I saw his face. And I just looked at him and I said, we'll talk about this when we get back, not in front of the children. Exactly, like it literally happened in front of the kids. With cheating, what's like the worst possible scenario? Probably like your partner cheating with like family member. I feel like it goes family, best friend, and then neighbor. And Rebecca was two of them, a neighbor and a best friend. Before long, Amy got to hear the truth about what had really been going on over the last few months. Okay, so her boyfriend's gonna try and tell his side. Do you reckon he's gonna lie or not? He did reveal to me that they went for a drink and one thing led to another. I was like, one thing led to another what? I mean, I think we know what happened. One thing led to another usually, you know, we can tell in our head what that means. I mean, that's so horrific. Rebecca's meant to be her friend and her neighbor. Amy felt there was only one thing left to do. I did end it with him on that day. I was angry and upset. Do you want to know something good on you? I mean, it's really heartbreaking to let that happen, but it's good that you pushed him away and got rid of him. But there is a couple more minutes to this video, so I've got a feeling Rebecca's going to start to date him. I just looked at her and I said to her, why? And she was just like, because I can. Oh, whoa. So she's just confronted Rebecca. Just like, why did you literally like take my boyfriend? Rebecca looked at her and went, just because I can. Keep in mind, this is literally meant to be her friend and it's her neighbor. I'm telling you, whenever you hear a story about someone, just take it like if they're a walking red flag get away from them and i was like well why would you do that to me i thought we were friends and she goes i always get what i want but it was the smirky and i just thought you horrible woman i bet you she's one of them like really mean girls who like switches up in front of people i hate them people sometimes whenever i go out with my female friends when i was like 15 16 they would like change whenever they're in front of a boy they had a crush on i don't know why it's kind of weird it's like i don't understand why people do that it was the same in school whenever i'm with a boy one on one we're completely fine but like they had a problem with me whenever they were like with their group her gang. It's weird, isn't it? It's like, why are people like so two-faced? They're narcissists. I looked at her and I said, you know what? Don't talk to me. I won't talk to you if you don't talk to me. Just, we we'll avoid each other and that's it. I mean, she's being so nice, honestly. If that were me, I'd probably throw a kettle at her. I feel like I definitely get like that fart spray. You know, whenever you're younger, you could get like fart spray. It literally smelled like a damn body, like a big fat fart. I'd spray that all over her door. We asked Rebecca for her side of the story, but received no response. That's probably because Rebecca's in jail because she's probably punched somebody else. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised she seems like a nasty woman. One day she turned around and said, oh, fat bitch. And I went, excuse me. And then she went, you heard. And then when we was going into the building, slam the door shut and then go, ha, ha, ha. Oh my God. Yeah, that's just like such bratty, mean behavior. I mean, first of all, she's not fat. She's normal. I don't understand why people use that as an insult. Whenever someone uses that as an insult against you, you know, you've won the argument or like the debate. Like she's not even fat. I mean, we seen what Rebecca looked like at the beginning of the video. I would much rather marry and be in a relationship with the victim rather than Rebecca. And it was just like, oh, and I was just looking go thinking, you're pathetic, you're just childish. Exactly, it's childish, pathetic, disgusting, and criminal behavior because she is a criminal. Yet again, I don't understand, like I just don't. I feel so bad for things that happen to people like that. Like she's such a nice woman, she's so beautiful as well. I'm telling you, Rebecca needs to get thrown into jail. But slagging matches on the street soon turned to threats a little too close to home. Oh, right. So this is where it's going to take a dark turn. Remember at the start of the video, her neighbor warned her about Rebecca? It's probably because the exact same thing has happened to her. Some nights I would hear a noise at the window and it'd be like, bang, bang. And I'd just be like, jump up and go, oh my God, what is that? It's probably Rebecca. Like imagine hearing a big bang and noise outside your window. If I hear like a creak outside, I literally hide under my covers thinking I'm going to get abducted. Go to the window, open it and see her walk back into the building, cackling, ha 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 ha, again. And I'd just be like, why? Could you not call the police? Because technically that's like, well, I mean, it's not illegal, but like, you know, she knows exactly what she's doing. That's so scary, isn't it? Oh, I hate that. Amy's eight-year-old daughter was so scared that she often shared her mum's bed. Wow, so it's not only affecting her, it's also affecting the daughter. That's where I draw the line. I'd be like, do you want to know something you can have all you want against me? Don't affect the child. Also, isn't her child meant to be like friends with Rebecca's child? I bet you Rebecca's feeding stuff into her child's brain. I bet you're a child's one brat. Might you have a mum like that? It was making me feel unsafe, unsteady, anxious. 
just didn't want to go outside. My daughter was getting panic attacks, anxiety attacks, and I was just like, this can't keep going on. I was just like, this has to stop. Exactly, like this is like went from like petty arguments to actual serious stuff, like it's affecting you. I think they're in council flats. Could you not like contact the council and try to maybe move to a different area? Like get Rebecca kicked out or kicked back into jail? Feeling under threat and intimidated in her own home, Amy decided to take some action. Good, and I hope it was successful. Yet again, we've got a few more minutes. I've got a feeling more is to come. That's when I started calling the police and everything. And I was like, this has to stop. The thing is, the police probably won't do anything as well. Like, the police are completely useless. I mean, the police will be at your door within 0.2 seconds if you threaten to punch someone online. But if there's literally someone broken into your house, it'll take them a day and a half to get there. But with no hard evidence, the police could do nothing. Just a few months later, the sanctuary of Amy's own four walls came crashing down. Okay, so the police done nothing. And four months later, something else happened. What has Rebecca done? After a really long day, I came home unlocked the door walked into the front room and i was like oh my god what has happened i just to look around and to see that there was just a mess there's a mess in her front room did she break into her flat okay this went from like threats and being mean to actual like criminal behavior the telly was on the floor one of the sofas was flipped over on its side the chairs were like one was on the table there was one on the floor it's quite obvious who's done that and i bet you she's done that as a sick joe yet again red flags like if we all listen to the red flags and someone or if we've seen red flags and follow what our guts say we probably would be able to avoid situations like this do you reckon if she never ever said hi to rebecca in the first place and avoided her none of this would have happened i looked at the kitchen window and i noticed it had been prized open then it kind of dawned on me that i'd actually had someone break into my house that's probably one of the worst things ever like one of the worst things ever is to get broken into imagine like someone literally breaks into your house while you're sat in it i mean i watch too much criminal minds in ncis so i'm telling you right now, if someone ever breaks into my house, there's a window right over there above my bed. I'm crawling out of it and sitting on the roof. When the police turned up, what they told Amy would shock her to the core. It was a hate crime because nothing was actually stolen. Oh my god, Rita, they didn't even steal anything. They literally went in there to mess up the house just to scare her. And it was obviously Rebecca. It was just vandalised and they said this is personal. We knew it was Rebecca, but we couldn't prove it was her. Exactly, and that's the sad thing with a lot of situations like this. Like, do you ever know someone's done something but you got no proof. In the eyes of the law, you can go and take them there, but if you don't have the proof, they ain't gonna get charged. One day, I'd come outside and she shouted something from her bedroom window here, and I just went, oh, shut up, because I'd had enough of it at this point. I mean, you're being so sweet. If that were me, I'd literally turn around and be like, well, hey, go back to jail, you jailbird. And she started laughing and, I, and she went, you're gonna get it, so is your daughter. Yet again, bringing the daughter in like it's a low blow. If I were there, I honestly would have recorded it. I mean, if you've got even the tiniest amount to prove that she's doing stuff like that, at least you can get her and put her in the jail. I'm gonna throw acid on your daughter. And at that point, I had actually freaked out. Well, yeah, of course, she's literally threatening to harm your daughter. That's the one thing closest to you. Imagine if the daughter was in the apartment whenever Rebecca broke in. Keep in mind, Rebecca's got her own daughter. Like, what does her daughter think? From that day onwards, I said to my child, you're not going out by yourself no more now. I was scared for my life and for my child's life. More so my child's life than mine. Exactly, like she's literally threatening her child. That's like the closest thing to her. Yet again, the police can't do anything because she hasn't got any proof. Even if she goes to them and says like, I've been threatened by this, they can just turn around and be like, okay, but we need proof. Amy was living under the constant threat of what Rebecca might do next. And she hit a lowest point. I felt mentally and physically drained at this point because I felt like, what else can I do? Exactly, there's not much you can do. She's literally harassing you. She's doing stuff to get in your brain. She probably enjoys it as well. I mean, we were warned at the beginning in this video that Rebecca was able and she does stuff like that but they actually know that she's done it to this innocent lovely sweet woman it's horrific I said this woman is destroying my life but what Rebecca did next was something Amy never could have imagined it was a nice hot sunny day I laid a blanket down soaking up the sun and then I've heard someone screaming I mean, if I were her, I wouldn't even go outside because you don't know where Rebecca is. Right, we've heard a big scream. What's the scream gonna be? And Rebecca's coming right up at me and it looked like she went to kick me right in the back of the head. Fearing for her safety, Amy tried to escape the situation. Wait, I just noticed something. I think the mugshot in the story at the beginning of this video was about this woman. It was Rebecca. She'd done it to her. I was just at that point trying to get away from her, but she got in front of me to stop me from getting inside the building. 
trapped by Rebecca, Amy was helpless. Oh my god, this is awful. She's literally been attacked and provoked. Yet again, I don't understand how someone can do that. Like, that's so cruel. These people need to be, like, put away. Like, there's something wrong with them. She's pushed me on my chest here. So I've gone backwards. And she's come at me again, but she's punched, she's gone to punch me. And she's got a lighter in her hand. Oh my god, this is awful. This is actually quite distressing to listen to, isn't it? We're literally listening to someone getting attacked. She's caught me on the side of my chin here and cut all my chin here. Amy hurried inside, but Rebecca was hot on her heels. I mean, at this point, she's literally running for her life. She needs to run to like another neighbor's house. Forget running in your house. Literally run to your neighbor and get them to call the police. I'd come running back into my house. My heart was pumping, racing, adrenaline going. I grabbed my phone. I was shaking. I called the police and telling them what had happened. And I bet you Rebecca probably broke in or like jumped through the window. I mean, this woman's obviously calculated. She knows exactly what she's doing. And yet again, I think the thing that gets to me is the fact that she enjoys it. I've been around people like that. Like they literally love seeing other people in misery. And as I was doing that, Rebecca had come to my front door and started really kicking the door, really banging on it hard. That's so scary. Is there not like CCTV in this area? I mean, there should be. There should be CCTV everywhere. If you don't have cameras in your house, I honestly would recommend for you to get them because you don't know if you'll ever have someone like that going after you. And I said to the police and the folks, so can you hear that? And they were like, yeah. And I said, oh, I said, that's, I said, that's Rebecca. Oh my God. So the police literally hear it as well. The thing is, if we date this and like actually sit down and think about it, there's probably been lots of cases like this before where people have had an issue. They've rang the police. The police basically said, oh, we can't do much. You got no proof. And they don't do anything about it, which then leads to that person doing it even worse, which could like even end with them dying. I mean, I know there's been like domestic cases in the past where like the partners reported it to the police but the police have done nothing and then whenever they actually do something it's too late rebecca was found guilty of harassing and assaulting amy she was also slapped with a two-year restraining order preventing her from making any contact with her two years i mean this video was posted in september 17 2020 so in literally a month that restraining order is going to be done so she can literally contact them again now nah, i'm sorry the legal laws are flawed they need to be updated imagine getting a two-year restraining order i hope they sent her to jail despite the restraining order rebecca was allowed to continue living right opposite Amy. I'm sorry, what? Well, then that's a rubbish restraining order. She literally attacked her for no reason and she's allowed to live beside her again. Throw her in jail and put her children in the arms of another family because I feel bad for her daughter. If she's doing that to an innocent sweet woman and threatening her daughter, imagine what she's doing to her own. So Amy came to a tough decision. We have a new home now, which we are starting again from scratch. And my daughter is a lot happier now. She feels a lot safer. I'm very cautious now of everyone since then. Exactly. Like that would really mess with your head, wouldn't it? You know, like you wouldn't be able to trust people in the same way. And this is why I need to be so careful if you trust, even what you post on social media, you can find so much out about somebody by what they post on social media, literally where they live, like what their room looks like. No one's really seen much of my house in any of my videos. I've only filmed in this room or my TV room downstairs. People don't know really lay out. I mean, even looking at my room back here, you might be able to tell it, but I think it's flipped. Like it's just so scary, isn't it? Amy can now only wonder what on earth was going on in Rebecca's mind when she chose to sit systematically destroy Amy's happy family life. The thing is with Rebecca, she'll probably blame it in mental health. They'll be able to find a loophole and blame it in that. That ain't what it is. She just is pure evil. I think Rebecca was jealous because she wanted things that she didn't have and so she thought that if she didn't have it no one could have it exactly like she was jealous of you you had the perfect man you had the perfect face the perfect body the perfect child basically the perfect life and rebecca wanted that but couldn't have it so she decided to ruin your life because she couldn't have it that's where i leave the video there i honestly wish amy all the best i don't know if you're watching this video that's horrific like i feel so bad for what your family went through and i wish you all the best in life anyways that's where i leave that video if you're new hit the big red subscribe button and just i'll see you all in my next video